I am so pleased to be talking with Angelica Killian, the, the author of You Can Have It All. Angelica, it's so good to see you today. How are you? Oh my God, Elizabeth, I am fantastic. Thank you for asking. I'm so excited. Oh my God, thank you for publishing my first ever book. So I'm super excited to be here. Thank you for having me. I'd love to hear a little bit about what inspired you to write this book? Well, that is a great, great question. And as I was starting my writing journey, I wanted to have a positive book because I was going through a downfall and I didn't want to summarize my struggles, even though they are included in bits and pieces because I had to share on how I came out of them. But yeah, I want it to be a very positive, inspiring book. And that's what got me into starting this You Can Have It All, because why not? You can have it all. You are such a, I'd say, professional manifester. You are just pure magic in how you have created things, dreamed of things, and then made them happen in your life. And so this book is perfect for anyone who's in that space where they're going, okay, I know I have things I want to accomplish and, and I have dreams and goals and I feel far away from them, right? We might feel far away. It might feel like, is this possible? But wanting to figure out the path to get there, right? So yeah. what I'd love to hear what advice you have for people that are in that space where it feels like, oh, life is hard. It feels impossible, but I still have this really big dream. You know, I, I love that you're saying this because I'm literally <laughs> getting the chills. I, I'm really getting the chills right now because I'm so excited. Um, the reason is the person who actually had me connect with you guys mm -hmm. He called me a master manifester. Oh my goodness, so that's wild. <laughs> I, was, I was honored, you know, and how do I get to this? That is a great question because yeah, you know, I'm, I have to learn patience, okay? And that's one advice I will give to everyone is to be patient because in your patient time, you are working on yourself because God wants to give you these things only when you are ready. Because if he gave you everything at once when you're not ready, how else would you handle them with the old version of you? So you have to become a better version of yourself in order to manifest these things for them to come quicker. So it is a journey to receive what you want. And what manifesting is you have to know what you want because it wants you. You just mm. have to put in the work and attract it. Mm. I love that idea of being clear on what you want because it wants you so that you, yeah. and, and that's, that's a, a, a kernel, a gem to have you attract that. And one thing I love about how you created this book is that you are you are willing to share some vulnerable things about your story. So we get as we read it that, oh, she's lived this. This isn't just, you know, I'm living a great life. It is also you had to put in the work, the manifesting yes. work, which looks different than other type of work to get to that place. And you have practical things. It's 30 different, the subtitles, 30 steps to becoming the best version of yourself and living your dream life. You have 30 different things that people can do yes. to make that happen. Is there anything, maybe an example of one of those things that you might want to share or something that's made a big difference for you in creating it? You know, with the 30 steps, it's all about inner work mm. and knowing the best version of yourself. Mm. And yes, there's 30 steps because you need to have access to so many things to become the person that you want. And yes, I do um, share my vulnerable times and it took a lot, but it's, um, I just have to, you know, relate to, 
people that are reading my book, you know, and it's, it's funny because a lot of people don't know I went through these things to get where I am today. You know, they see on the outside, yes, she's living her best life. She was always doing this and this, but it took me, it took the real me to get this and to feel it like this is me. This is my life. So with the 30 steps, let me, let me point to a page because this is what I this love. Is like if it's <laughs> meant to be, it will be. So I'm getting to number seven and 13. And I know number seven, I think it's manifesting, but mm. let me double check. Yes, manifest everything. And number 13 is seek God, not revenge. Oh, so, <laughs> yes. Um, a lot of my life where I have became the best version of myself, God took away many things that no longer served me. He broke me from the old person that I was, and he built me up with these 30 steps that I share with you and with everyone. And I hope it helps you as it helped me. Mm, I love this. And I love how you talk about that it is God sometimes removes things from us when we when we have the big vision. We might not know how to get there and we might not know what we need to let go of to get there. Oh, yeah, I can feel that yes. for my life, right? <laughs> yeah. You have no idea because I used to have attachment issues, you know, mm -hmm. so God, let me tell you, when God did everything to remove these environments, people, and just anything that needed to be removed, I mean, it hit me hard. I mm -hmm. cried. I screamed. I prayed. I, you know, like, God was there. And so. if I'd like, so a lot of our audience are people that are writers themselves. So I'd love to hear a little bit about what the, ex I mean, I know because I worked with you, what the experience was like for you while writing, but I think that's something that could really help some of our listeners. Could you share some of that? Oh, you know, first of all, I never thought I would write a book. <laughs> you know, um, English is my second language, but I'm excited. And as a writer, my journey through writing this book, all I knew is that I wanted to inspire people and help people. And Robin, Claire, um, mm -hmm. she really allowed me to set up my chapters. And, you know, at times it was frustrating because it's like, what do I write? And then at times, you know, I felt pressure to make it so perfect because I wanted people to to re relate to what I'm writing, you know, I want it to be real. And, you know, and then I felt those certain chapters where I just wrote, like, it, it just kept going. So yes, a lot of emotions, <laughs> a lot of emotions, um, a lot of strength, took a lot of courage, a lot, a lot of courage, um, stepping out of my comfort zone, which is a great, great thing to practice if you want to become successful. And yes, my writing journey, it's, it was great. I mean, it was a lot to go through, but it's so worth it because it's mm -hmm. a new skill and it was just so worth doing and worth the emotions <laughs> and the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is there, is there anything you would tell yourself? Like if you could go back in time and tell yourself beginning before you started writing, is there any? advice you'd give yourself at that point? I'm curious. Before I started writing? Yeah. Um, you know what's so funny? I just seen a ladybug and it's, it's a sign for me. So what advice would I give myself before I start writing? Um, just be true to yourself, you know, uh, be authentic. And who cares what anybody thinks? It's your story. It's your journey. And I, like I said, I just want to inspire and help people. Mm -hmm. So, so yes, beautiful. that's the advice I would give is be authentic, be real, and 
who cares what people think because you're, it's your life and that's all that matters. And be happy in your life with yes. what you do. So thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. Oh, it's happy. such a joy. I love talking with you. Um, I love anything that's in this manifesting space. It's just such a fun, magical place. And it's not always fun. It's sometimes roller coasters. So I don't want to, you know, like brush it with little glitter or whatever. It's that sometimes and sometimes not. But that's what creates magic. And yeah. um, so yeah. you have, how do people find you? How do people find you? They, you, you have Instagram, you have your, your YouTube channel. Yes, I have Instagram, my YouTube channel. Um, Instagram is basically me showing how I live my life. Uh, <laughs> most of the inspirational videos that I do is on my YouTube channel and my TikTok. And I also have a website if anyone wants to contact me. And, you know, you can order the book through the website. It'll take you straight to the Amazon link. I mean, yes. I mean, those are my main platforms right now. And I do mm -hmm. have Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm pretty much worldwide. <laughs> yes. And I'll put up the link so that people that want to connect with you can easily find you and they can look up the real Angelica Killian, right? Is that your handle generally on, on the different? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because this is the real <laughs> me. Like this is who I wanted to be. And I'm finally this person, the real me, the real Angelica Killian. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much with honoring for honoring us with your time and your grace. And it's a pleasure to talk with you today, Angelica. Thank oh, thank you, Elizabeth. And thank you for being such an inspiration and such a support in my writing journey. Uh, you're, you're a really great person. And I'm so happy I could confine in you. You mean a lot. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That warms my heart. I appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. <laughs>